Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay, fine. Great. I run into an Italian, yeah? She's working here. So, uh, she's been living here for the past two years. So, um, I want to ask her, how is life here in Malta? Okay, at the beginning, if you, if you decide to move in Malta, you can have a lot of fun, you can chill, there are a lot of clubs, there are a lot of new people who want new adventures. Uh, you can also attend an English course uh, and uh, you can like start a new life uh, but this is something it is uh, just a feeling that you're gonna have just for a few years mm -hmm. then it's gonna be it's gonna be hard uh, because you start uh, with big expectations yes. but the cost of the life here is uh, high it's high it's high so for the rents are high mm -hmm. and the salary is not is one of the lowest on in the European Union no? Okay, so like how the minimum wages is how much? The minimum uh, it depends from the sector. Okay. So, but the minimum wages for the tourism sector or restaurants, mm. and the minimum is maybe the 800 euros per month. 800 euros. Uh -huh. Okay. And the house rent? Uh, the two bedroom apartment is starting at 600 euros so if you desire to live in the central area. Mm. For Malta, for central, I mean in the center of the island, not the yes. central area like. Sydney. Like in the south or whatever. Okay. Uh, if, if you want to live in the coast, uh, like uh, in, in the most popular area, the, the prices go higher. So yes. it's going to be like. Uh, Probably uh, not less than 1,000 euros per month. So you always need flatmates, at least at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And if you're lucky mm -hmm. with your career, you're gonna start to um, to search for an apartment by yourself. But by you yourself. need to wait for a few years. Okay, you need to make some economy before you begin to live comfortable as you want. So thank you very much for sharing. You're she welcome. has said it all. I don't even Follow need to translate. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Great, great. I run into a French woman. She's working here. So she wants to share with us how is life here in Malta. So how, how to live in Malta? How is life here? What can you share? Oh, that's a very, very global question. Okay. <laughs> Um, what can I say? Uh, I mean, it's a good place in the middle of the Mediterranean, so it's like cross-border with all the countries. So in here, mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of people that are actually not Maltese. Yes. So I would say the life is easy to integrate here because no one almost is Maltese. <laughs> okay, we are <laughs> no, all foreigners. <laughs> yes, we are all foreigners. I mean, there is a lot of foreigners here. Mm -hmm. If you see in the place, if, if you go to work, you would see like maybe you will meet one Maltese person. The rest, they're all foreigners. Wow. So, I mean, don't be scared. <laughs> everyone is... Foreign. Uh, yeah, everyone is foreigners. So no problem with integration, I would say. Mm. Uh, they are used to see people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can make good friends like this from all over the world. If I may ask, what can you share, for example, like house rent or maybe for a job? What kind of job that can foreigner can be able to easily get here? Well, most foreigners, unless you have specific studies, okay, there is so the two main, I would say, hospitality, okay, waiters, chef, all those jobs you can find very easily, uh, and then there would be of course the um, eye gaming because eye gaming is a big big thing here on the island. Okay. There is a lot of foreign companies based in Malta because it's very interesting um, in terms of taxes and okay. things like that. So that's your main choices. You need to know that. Thank um, you. The like the let's say the local places they pay the local rate. Yes. You need to know that the minimum wage in Malta it's only four fifty. The minimum four fifty. It's really really low. Really. But I mean, 
you but, can but, always but, get but a bit more than that. But and the iGaming company, they are foreigners. Most of them they will be Swedish. Swedish, okay. So they pay Swedish rate. Okay, rate, okay. Yeah. Like it's, for example, the for, for the four hundred and fifty euros, uh, is it for seven hours a day? Say again for for the four hundred and fifty euro, the minimum wages. Is it for four it, hours? No, is it, how many hours a day the person will work? I think the full time here is forty. Forty. If I'm if I'm right, okay. between thirty and forty, but it's more than thirty five. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. So that but so the forty hours for four hundred fifty. No, euros? I mean no. well. Some places, yeah, they will pay for fifty, but most people I know they'll still be paid a bit better. Better. Like okay. if you have a bit of experience as a waiter, yes, you can be like six fifty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. not impossible. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, I've been living when I started. I was at six something. Okay. You can live pretty well still if you manage to find a place that is not too expensive, expensive because uh, the other problem is Malta is the rent is really expensive yeah because, in this area especially. yeah because it's a tourist place yes if you go a bit further it's okay. okay and even you can find a place to share with other people you buy you just rent the whole apartment and you share the rooms it's fine yeah because a yeah. friend a Malian uh, I've shared b with me he said that the best way to have the rent is to go for like two bedroom or three bedroom yes, because better. there is more better. Yes. Because when you look for one room, it's more expensive yeah, and sometimes it's very difficult. One room in average in Sliema or around this place, it would be like 450, 500 for, for the month, yeah. Thank you, thank you. You have shared a lot. I really <laughs> appreciate no and uh, really thank you for all this. It will help a lot of young people that is trying to come to live here or maybe to study here. Yeah, I think it's a nice place to stay for a little bit, yeah. I wouldn't do my life here personally, but just a few years, really nice. Okay. The weather is amazing. <laughs> oh, look, look yeah. I, I came it's from... It's November and I'm, I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I was like thinking to bring all these things and I feel very odd with oh, all this. Oh, it's so. good. So this other I European, really like. <laughs> Yeah, other European countries is winter, pure winter. We cannot even stand like, look at the way she is. Yeah. She can try it like countries like France. Well, oh. my family in France, they're freezing right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, what city are you from? Toulouse. Toulouse. Yes. Okay. They have my Toulousian people. One day you will see me because people are telling me to come to Toulouse. Really? So, yeah, yeah. So I have to go to Toulouse okay. one of these days to make a good video of Toulouse, how it's life and the best places to see and visit in Toulouse. I'm going to exploit Toulouse with you guys one day. Thank you very much. Thank man. you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. And you? Good, good. I just run into a Malian brother. Brother, introduce yourself to us. Okay. Tell us who you are and uh, share with us how is life here in Malta. Right. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. My name is uh, Yosef. Okay. I'm from Mali. Okay. But now I'm living in Malta. I am here more than five years from now. But uh, I have to sit on God. Okay. Because I don't have any problem for the Malta. Yes. I can't go anywhere I want. I can't go any problem. I don't get any problem. Okay. But uh, I have friends from Maltese. Yes. I have friends from my country and another country as well. Yes. You know, because if I meet any black, mm. it will be like uh, my brother. Yes. You know, anywhere. And we are joking. We are enjoying for everywhere. Cool. And I never get any problem from Maltese. Mm. I am very, very happy in Malta. I have to say thank God as well. Go. So he's trying to say that he has friends, Maltese friends, people from Malta and also foreigners like him and also other Africans that is living here. Life for him is cool, easy for him, yeah, for him is okay. And he can go to anywhere he wants here in Malta, it's not a problem. So brother, what can you share about like how can someone get a job? What kind of job that is more easy to get from your own experience? from your own profile because uh, we have different profiles so what can you share okay so for here yeah, to get job is it easy like is uh, not easy okay you know? if you choose the job mm. it will be easy for you okay but uh, if you don't choose the job you will find work very very easy okay because everyone knows the same yeah some people they choose the job job Yes. But that's why maybe you will stay with the job long time. Okay. But if you don't, 
choose the mm. job mm. you can find job very very easy very very easy okay and Malta to find job very uh, very fast i have to say is a uh, construction construction okay yeah to find job in the construction okay yeah and because they are doing a lot of construction here they are doing a lot of construction even here yeah. they are re renovating this house also yes, yes since yes. i came down from the airport i'm only seeing construction work yes, yes, yes. that is true so for people that love construction work or you are a builder <laughs> malta there is too much work for you that's true because if you go anywhere mm. you can find the crane mm. in everywhere yeah like construction work but like paint yeah and uh, plaster yeah bleeding yeah you know if you do about if you do about that one you can find a job very easy and for example a job as a cons constructor how much it uh, for like for uh, the average salary but uh, here they pay per hours per hours okay yeah. you know, maybe you can get somewhere like uh, seven hours six but minimum is six six hours minimum no six euro minimum six. every every hour six euro okay minimum minimum okay maybe so, you start seven eight somewhere okay you know so that means in the in in a month you can get up to one thousand two one thousand three hours yeah but in a month you can get maybe one thousand three hundred one thousand four hundred something like this okay you know if you make uh, 80 hours exactly because here mm. they work 80 hours after 80 hours is like overtime maybe nine hours ten hours mm. they pay you like overtime okay but if you make 80 hours in the month you can get uh, 1300 or 1200 mm. something like this okay so what can you share concerning house rent how much it costs for an apartment maybe i don't know a three bedroom flat two bedroom flat or a studio for a young man mm -hmm. or a young young girl for that is coming here to study what can you share okay uh, about uh, rent mm. but uh, for here maybe if you have like a three bedroom mm -hmm. somewhere you can find maybe 900 okay three bedroom three 900 bed, three bedroom minimum i think uh, will be like uh, 800 minimum 800 okay okay here in san julian because i think it's one of the the best city in in uh, malta san julian yes yeah, san julian and Silma also okay 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 so like a studio a studio how much like a one room you can but uh, if it's a one room because uh, it will be uh, very very to find it's very difficult ah, to get one room yeah one room and uh, it will be more expensive because it's just the old one you know mm. maybe they can give to you like a 400 if you get minimum mm. it's a 300 mm. one room but it's better to get uh, like a two bedroom or three bedroom so the more you have more room the more is more cheaper yeah if you have more room it comes cheap but if you have just all one mm. it will be very 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 you know you have to pay more money more money yeah oh that is a very good uh, good uh, information thank you if you are planning to come to live here in malta you need to know this if you are looking for like a one room which is normally the average man or a woman love to do like if you are single for now you love to look for one room or you are a student so but looking for one room sometimes is very difficult to get as he said and also if you find it it's more expensive yes so it's better for you to get like three bedroom two bedroom there you even pay less you get more room most you more comfortable and you pay less compared to uh, one room so if you make the calculation you see that you are the one lesson so thank you brother for the wonderful information and for your time for be able to share with us your experience to help young people and whoever planning to come uh, to study here or to come and live here thank you brother thank you too thank you thank you hi hi how are you fine fine thanks great i run into to some italians here that is making internship right here in malta so i want to ask them how is life here from their experience let them share with us so girls how I want to know, how is life here in Malta from your experience? Uh, life in Malta is uh, very beautiful because uh, in the central part there are a lot of uh, life, uh, young people, 
and uh, also Vinga. parties. Yes, and uh, but in the other parts of Malta, like uh, in the northern part, uh, is uh, more uh, naturalistic places. So, for example, in the evening there weren't a lot of party, but. Uh, in general, uh, in the southern part, uh, there are a lot of parties also for having fun. Okay, so that is what everybody is telling me. They say that San Julian is the best city yeah. for parties and for nightlife or whatever. So, thank you, thank you for sharing. So, You're and right. your studies, uh, what can you share about your internship and your school system? What yeah, can you share? Uh, we are in an internship, but we are working. Okay. So, for example, uh, I work uh, in um, with the architects. Architects. Yeah. Well, and I uh, work uh, with uh, sheep, so in a farm, and uh, help uh, the guy milking them or taking care of them. So. With the sheep, that that is uh, like animals. Yes. So yes. she's a farmer, and she's for the architect. So it's very very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. And for how long the internship will take? Uh, me for uh, three months and uh, her for four months. Four months. And where are you from? From Italy? Yeah. What city are you from? Me from the central part uh, near Rome. Rome? And me near Turin. Turin. Yes. Okay. You will see me one. My Italian people, you will see me one day. I'm coming to uh, Italy very soon because I have... I have been to Italy in my early beginnings, but I didn't do so much job. Because if you are going to Italy and if you haven't done Rome, that means you haven't visited Italy. So yeah. I have to visit Rome next time. So thank you very much for sharing. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? It's good. Great, great. I just came out from the airport and immediately I found a young man, he's very friendly, he's a taxi driver and he wants to share with us his experience and life here in Malta. So, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm good, 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 good. good. I have a question for you. Yes. How to live in Malta? How is life here yes. in Malta? We have a life uh, in St. Julian's with a life. 24 7 24 7 it's just a business business you know, okay restaurants pubs okay bars whatever whatever okay like a, a job job yes for someone to find a job how can someone find a job it's a find the job you have a experience the jobs you have a fine the job oh. it's no problem okay if you have experience in some certain jobs you can find a job here in malta thank you very much for sharing i really appreciate it so we share for me yeah oh, okay and uh the you facebook can it tabone tsuna okay he want me to share his taxi company this one can it tabone tsuna okay so if you are visiting malta don't hesitate to check my friend the taxi man his name is kenneth tabon Zona Kenneth Tabone Zona. Okay. Kenneth Tabone Zona. Okay. Kenneth Tabone Zona. Give me, give me. This is it, guys. This is it, guys. Don't hesitate to check Kenneth Tabone Zona. He's a very great guy and he will take you around Malta. Thank you, my bye, friend. Bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you? How's it good? You? Good, good. I run into a friend here. He's from Brazil, from Rio de Janeiro. He's applying his football trade here in Malta, right here in Valletta. So I want to ask him, how is life? How is he doing? How is life here in Valletta and Malta as a whole? My friend, how is life in Malta? Uh, it's, Malta uh, it's, it's very good in Malta. Mm. Yeah, we live in Malta um, one year. One year. The, the, the soccer, soccer play in Malta. Okay. Yeah. In Brazil, in Brazil soccer play. Mm. We come back here. Okay. In Malta, uh, the football very good in, uh, um, in now. Yeah. In Brazil, me, me play one year in Brazil. One year in Brazil. Yeah, 
uh, uh, mas Brazil very difficult uh, football. Yeah, because a lot yeah. of good, good, good players. Yeah, 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 good, good play. In Malta, uh, mm, oh there's more possibility, yeah. Yeah, more possibility, possibility, possibility to become Malta. big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I am happy here. I am happy here in, in Malta. I am happy here. Yes, yes. Oh, that is good. You speak. Uh, it's very. It's not easy because you speak uh, Portuguese and uh, you speak little English. But yeah. you have given us great information. He's a footballer, as I've said earlier on. Yeah, if you can understand little what he said, he's a Brazilian. He's yeah. applying his football trade here in Malta, yeah. and uh, you know, in Brazil, as he said, he's playing in Brazil. But to become to play big level in Brazil is not easy because there is a lot of football stars, and you no, know, is the one of the country of football <laughs> so they live football they sleep football they eat football they wake up with football so it's not easy to quickly come up in brazil so he prefer to come uh, abroad and he's doing the best uh, out of malta and he's enjoying his time right here in malta thank yeah, you very yeah. much my friend thank you very much <laughs> thank you yeah. hello how are you pretty good what about you great 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 thanks for asking and i have a question for you yeah how is life here in Valletta? What do you think? Oh, it's pretty... I found it hard to move, but okay. since it's a small city, I can just walk. Mm -hmm. And there are many buses and boats that take mm -hmm. you from island to island. Okay. And it's pretty cool because you can travel, you can see all Malta in, I don't know, many days, like few days. Few days? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a small country, so yeah. I think you can do it in less than three days if you don't yeah, non much. non-stop. So, Okay, like, how, how is the cost of life here? Like, um, is it expensive or uh, what do you think? Coming from Italy, like, the gas and things like that are mm. less cheap, uh, like, cheaper. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, the prices of the things in the supermarket, things like that, are pretty much the same. Okay. Yeah, you don't have taxes, so you gotta pay after you buy it. Okay. But, yeah. So... Yeah, that is what I also a little bit realized that uh, Malta can be very expensive. Yeah. Why? Because it's a tourist destination. It is. There is a lot of tourists here. It's like their life is just about tourists. Yeah. So it is very, very, very expensive. If you don't be careful, you can blow off your budget very, very easy. I, uh, as soon as I get here, I've been buying tickets upon yeah. tickets upon tickets. Like, it seems thing. like, yeah, uh, the, the number one job is ticket. <laughs> It is. This ticket, I bought a lot of tickets that I even, <laughs> I, I, I was not even expected. So, that is how it is. So, you said you came here to work. Yeah. So how do you do it? Like, for what kind of little uh, advice you can give to someone that maybe tried to want to apply for a job to come and work uh, here in Malta? How do you do it? Just apply because we, uh, we have a school. So, I came from a school. Okay. But now I work here. Okay. And the school gave us uh, like where to work, where to apply, what like big thing you want to work in, yeah, like, okay. what sector. Okay. And I just uh, I just put sales and marketing, and now I work here. Okay. Mm, yeah. So you you apply online. Yeah. Okay. So they, is there any site for young people that may be struggling? Just jump in and try everything. Try and yeah, everything. There everything. is uh, there is no special site name of a special site you can um, give. Um, like Valletta, you can come to Valletta and walk here because it's a pretty touristy okay. uh, city. So okay. you like if you like people, me mm. greeting with people, things like that. Mm. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the only way to get it, if I can understand him, like. You can write Valletta Malta <laughs> yeah. and uh, jobs in Valletta Malta, <laughs> then you can apply yeah. through online for the job you want. And good luck. If you accepted, then you, you can come and walk here. Yeah. It's pretty cool here yeah, because you've seen the river, the sea, the Mediterranean and yeah. all. Very so cool. it's a very, very attractive place. Thank you, brother, for sharing. Thank you. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as i take you to every country on head until then have a wonderful and inspiring day bye bye